What is up my friends? Benoit here. I am super excited because I hold in my hand my brand new Surefire X300 Weapon Light that's gonna go on my favorite blaster. Yes, I bought it off of eBay. It came in the mail today. Only one problem. It's a fake. <laughs> So stay tuned and I'll show you what to look for so you can be cool like her and not buy fake lights. Well, at a glance you can see that both flashlights look really similar but there are differences and here's what you need to look for. The genuine Surefire X300 is on the left. It's my old one with the carbon scoring on the bezel and you can see the barcode sitting there on the inside. But not only that, another way to tell is that the knockoff X300s don't have the spacers on either side of the ramp clip. And that matters because without that there, it actually rattles around kind of, of a lot. And so here we have the genuine X300 mounted and when I move it, it moves very little. And then the knockoff, when I uh, grasp it and move it, you can see a lot of rocking on that. Not only that, the genuine Surefire uh, the battery compartment, the latch, is flush with the body on the left, but the knockoff on the right has an elevated battery box release clip that you can clearly see. But probably the most importantly is that a genuine Surefire X300 will have the company logo printed on the circuit board, like the one on the left, whereas the knockoff on the right won't have any company logos. And that's what you need to look for when spotting a fake Surefire X300. So you're probably wondering how the eBay story ends for this one, and that's a pretty good tale. So after I got this and checked it out a little bit, uh, I kind of quickly came to the conclusion that this is a fake, this is a fake. And uh, so I contacted the seller saying, hey, I got bad news for you. This product is a, a knockoff um, and uh, I need a full refund. Seller um, initially, uh, so he got back to me, um, initially stonewalling me because it was a gun shop. Uh, that I bought this from uh, down south and and he said well absolutely not I have a no refund policy and um, my uh, equipment is is genuine um, I, I get it from suppliers and I can prove a receipt uh, to show you that it's, it's genuine surefire um, <laughs> and he said too that this is a product that's been in his gun shop has been in some in uh, cases and has been on show guns and so he was none the wiser. I felt really bad for him because obviously he, he'd gotten taken. And so I sent back an e a response saying, hey, um, I'm really sorry that this has happened to you, but it's, it's not my problem that you got scammed um, with a fake thing. And so, uh, yeah, I, you know, and at this moment, I posted a couple pictures proving my point there on a couple things. And um, I said, look, uh, make, do the right thing, do the right thing, you know, and, um, and so after I posted those pictures, I get an email a couple minutes later, and this is what it says. He says, uh, I'll tell you what, man, since we're both gun guys, and apparently I've been ripped a new one, I'll go ahead and accept the return. I'm sure you don't have the time to mess with this, and I sure the heck don't either. And I'm also gonna have one heck of a scuffle with my supplier. So we're in the process now of him giving me a full refund, um, and I'll be sending this back to him, and so, uh, that's how that story kind of ends. So guys, ride fast, shoot straight, don't buy fakes. <laughs>